Then after example thirteen point one. Given the mass of iron nucleus as fifty five point eighty five U and A that is fifty six, then find the nuclear density. Okay. Now see mass of Fe that is given to you fifty five point eighty five U. So first convert it in kilogram. So fifty five point eighty five into one point six six into ten raised to minus twenty seven. Finally, you will get nine point twenty seven into ten raised to minus twenty six kilogram. A that is given to you fifty six. Now we know this thing: density that is mass upon volume. So nuclear density for iron that is mass of Fe upon the volume of nuclei that is four by three pi r cube. But r the radius of the nuclei that is r zero into a is to one third. We discussed. So this is equal to mass of Fe upon four by three pi into R zero a is to one third whole cube. So we can write three times mass of Fe upon four pi. Now R zero cube and a is to one third raised to three. So you will get a. Clear? Now substitute the values. Three mass of Fe nine point twenty seven into ten raised to minus twenty six upon four pi. R zero, R zero. That is one point two into ten raised to minus fifteen. That is the constant we discussed. Cube of it and A that is fifty six. Now substitute these values and calculate it. You will get the answer. Clear? Then mass energy and nuclear binding energy. That is the topic. In that first we have to discuss mass energy. Relation. See, initially it was believed in any type of reaction, energy is conserved as well as mass is also conserved. But this conservation of energy and conservation of mass takes place independently. But then after. Scientist Einstein represented this thing. Mass is a form of energy, okay? And independently, mass and energy are not conserved, but jointly, mass and energy conserves in the reactions. Mass and energy are associated with each other by the relation E equal to m c square. Where c that is the velocity of light in vacuum, its value that is three into ten raised to eight meter per second. So here, mass when converts into energy, then the energy obtained. That is equal to m into c square. That is equal to m into c square. So if we calculate the energy equivalent to mass one u, then we can calculate it like this: E equal to mass mass that we take one u means. अपने वो कैलकुलेट करवा मांगिए चाहिए कि one u mass जहाँ एनर्जी में कन्वर्ट था है तो कितनी एनर्जी माले आपन ने, right? So we can say E that is equal to one U mass into c square three into ten raised to eight whole square. But one U mass that is one point six six into ten raised to minus twenty seven into three into ten raised to eight whole square. So when you solve this one, you will get one point four nine two four into ten raised to minus ten joule. Divide it by 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19, you will get 0.9315 into 10 raised to 9 electron volt. Divide this 10 raised to 9 into 2 per 10 raised to 3 into 10 raised to 6. So 10 raised to 3 into this one, 9.9315. That you can write 9.31.5 into 10 raised to 6 electron volt. 10 raised to 6. That is. 
mega or million we can say so energy e that is 931.5 mev it implies that we can say one u mass that is equivalent to energy 931.5 mev clear to all of you